delaying in this moment. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be testing autopilot and how to use autopilot on the new Model 3 Highland as well as testing it in the rain because it is actually a very rare opportunity to test uh, to get some rain here in the Algarve because it's usually sunny for at least 300 days of the year. Since we've been here, it's only rained two or three times and we've been here for almost two months. So we actually wanted to film a parking video but that has now been cancelled because I really don't feel like getting out of the car because I wanted to show you around the car, I wanted to have some outside shots but because it's raining so hard, I really do not feel like it. Well, we know. I'm going to straight what the difference between Hold my way. So this, this, this new update is so annoying. I can't even demonstrate for you guys. I'm literally looking in the road when I'm activating, but it's telling me to pay attention. Maybe I'm talking too much. If you've never driven a Tesla before, engaging autopilot on the old Model 3 as well as the current Model Y is done via the stalk. You press down twice. You could change it to be a one press down, whereas now they've changed it to the button because there's no more stalks right so the button on the right is to activate autopilot the default setting is to engage it via a single press so you press it as long as the vehicle can see the lines on the road you usually are able to activate autopilot in most scenarios so as you can see here even in the rain it is operating pretty well Another thing to comment on, oh, it's actually going off the road a bit there, but I think this road is quite narrow, so it's expected. Actually, it's actually on the wrong side of the road, as you guys can see, so that was not very good. Uh, another interesting topic to discuss on the windscreen wipers, especially in the rain. So, unlike most cars, Teslas don't have jets coming out of the front of the car to for the windscreen uh, washer. If I press the windscreen washer button, you'll see that water actually comes out of these jets that are inside the windscreen wipers themselves so it actually has minimum blockage when you're spraying this windscreen it's raining pretty hard so this can become a little bit tricky uh, so i'm gonna have to pay attention to the road as you can see there's people walking across i don't know if you can see that in the camera oh it actually picked it up so so one thing about autopilot is if you don't have fsd it cannot stop at the traffic lights or the stop street so it will actually continue going at full speed basically through the traffic lights and the stop street so that's something to be aware of if you are using autopilot I will include a footage of me uh, testing out FSD when I was in San Francisco um, that model Y that I drove had FSD and you can see you can navigate and stop at the stop street and stop at the traffic lights and you practically all you have to do is pay attention to the road and hold on to the steering wheel at certain times standard autopilot and enhanced autopilot cannot actually take roundabouts so what it does is it tries to keep within the middle of the lane i've tried it kind of extensively around roundabouts as you know there are tons here in portugal and europe in general it has not been very successful it sometimes you know uh makes it 20% of the way and then it disengages and sometimes it makes it 70% of the way but it wants to like go into the side of the road so it's not very reliable about roundabouts so that's something to consider changes and take turn offs by itself oh enhanced autopilot or navigate on autopilot started working again so when it is showing one line it's showing that it's navigating to your destination on the freeway so what it's supposed to do is okay it got disconnected now because poor weather was detected so what it would do is it would change lanes you know get ready to take the turn off for you so if i want to change back into the non-overtaking lane i need to indicate and then i need to nudge the wheel a little bit for it to get back into its lane so i'm quite pleased that it's still able to do this even though navigator on autopilot is not available due to poor weather and i'm actually quite pleased to report that autopilot seems to be working just fine Obviously, you know, stay safe out there. If you are in bad weather, make sure that you're always ready to take over. The freeway here is quite empty, so it's not as much of a concern. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't trust this thing fully, especially in the poor weather. I am on a national road, which is not a highway, so it's not navigating on autopilot, but it is just standard autopilot. So even if you didn't have the upgraded um, enhanced or FSD, you can do this. 
and as you can see it's quite dark now at night and it's raining not as raining as hard as earlier but it seems to be pretty working pretty well I ha it hasn't disengaged for the past I would say five minutes as you can see it's quite dark now autopilot seems to be working pretty well okay so I'm going to demonstrate that uh, this cannot work in the roundabout as long as it's safe for me to do so there's no car coming okay it's gonna try it's gonna try and then it's gonna it's gonna disengage see that's what happens when you try and use <laughs> uh, autopilot without FSD well FSD in Portugal wouldn't work because we don't have navigate on city streets so basically roundabouts are not navigatable in Europe via autopilot something to keep in mind Thank you.